as a man. <laughs> That's always been a rule. A rule. Real men don't really look for women. Real men don't have problems finding women. Real men have problems finding, or rather, weeding out the good one, good ones. That's that's the hard part. <laughs> Money. Dynamite. Dynamite. What up? What up? What up? Hey y'all. <laughs> My name's Hero. This is the Identity Booth. Um. <laughs> so last week. Last week at some point, I, I um, I hosted a, a poll on my on my Insta, right? And the reason why I, the poll was simply, do black women need black men? And I had a I had two people actually doing this poll with me, so I didn't have too much of a bias. It was a very anecdotal group uh we hung in a group and a little bit about the demographics me going to an hbcu i expected this number to be skewed very much but i still believe that it was the general consensus and to no surprise especially for me because i know my people um it came out that yeah uh black women black women voted positively in the idea that they do need black men but this was sort of a shocker to my uh to the the co post the co polar uh, I had running this with me because uh, we didn't see eye to eye on this. He didn't believe that black women needed black men, but I knew that this was true because I've said this before and I'll say it again. Black men need black women. We actually need black women more than they need us. I think that's something that's absolutely true right now because statistically they are doing better. Uh, what based on a prominence of social standards uh, I don't necessarily believe that black women are better than black men I think that they have their pluses and negatives is black men have their pluses and negatives and it's really up to you as a person to determine what your value point is and how you want to compare that to a woman if you find to be the only thing uh, interesting or appealing about yourself is that you're strong then yeah you're probably going to be doing better than most black women in this world Especially if you can lift 450 pounds over the over your head, like okay, congratulations. But if you uh, dare to see past yourself, you will find that um, nuance is key. But it still doesn't change the fact that in this poll, black women, admittedly successful, whether they're successful students, there was a range of people. They all voted. About 68 percent of them voted. That yes, they do need black men, and this is a a dynamic that I find to be interesting because it's not a question I would pose normally. Because I, by trade, I'm Nigerian, so I grew up in all black love. I saw black love from an early age. It just makes sense to me. My wife's got to be black. Like at first, uh, it, she had to be African, but she's got to be black, right? I want to raise a chocolate baby. I need to be able to look at, I need to be able to look at my kid and see me. And don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure your kid or whatever, Tyler, Megan, Jamie, Fox, Daquan, Shaniqua, all of them are gorgeous in their own way. But Kaibiru, Mujisola, Abdullah. Now that's a fucking beast. <laughs> that's a fucking beast right there. Uh you feel me? Taibiru Bravery, Larry Waju, Abdullah. Now that's a motherfucking animal. That's a legend right there. Bravery. You named your kid Bravery. You about to be out here saving the world. I think that culture that I was brought up in makes it very clear to me. Uh, black women are gorgeous. They're great, but but the, their necessity was more. I picturize me because in my culture. Women run the household. That's not up for debate. <laughs> like <laughs> the person who makes the food, the person that keeps the house, runs their mouth. Period. And yeah, the man's the breadwinner, but it's not a man's place to debate what happens in his home. That's why he has a wife. And that was a concept to me that was kind of oblivious. Men be talking about, what do you bring to the table? Bitch, you supposed to bring the whole house. 
And it's your job to give her that shit to provide. But then if you don't want to look at it strictly from a patriarchal uh, standpoint, which is what our the Western culture has moved slowly away from. Even if you, like a lot of men today, and this is, this is consensus that we came to was amazing. A lot of men aren't ready to hear this, but the men who claim they want a, a, a submissive or obedient wife, they don't have enough money to afford a submissive wife. You feel me? Clap that shit. You just don't got the money. Women who are submissive are expensive as fuck. Because in my culture, you feel me? Women didn't submit to the man. They submitted to the culture. The culture dictated that they had to do this. Because the culture must continue. The culture must be preserved. Once we've stopped trying to individually make ourselves bigger than the team then our team will prosper it's not about like you people didn't get married out of love and affection which is once again a different thing they got married out of necessity and survival you own a goat farm i own a corn farm yo winter's coming we need to be able to rotate this cash and make money because they say a big part of what you do with your life is dependent on your partner. You pick a good partner, you're going to have a better life, period. Do I, like, am I concerned? I Do I, shoot, I make enough money, I'm fine. I can provide for my family. But am I concerned about, like, unforeseen debt? Yeah. Is it important that I pick a woman who's financially responsible? Yeah. Educated, yeah. Like, the most, the most successful woman is the most appealing to me. But that's because I understand that it's not I'm not intimidated by her success. I'm not intimidated by her ability to run her own show. She was doing just fine at her table in her house before I got there. So inherently, if the only value I feel I can add to a woman is financial, I've already lost. When it comes to finding a successful woman, no successful woman needs your money. It sure is nice to have spending money. But they've made their life so that they can have spending money. So what are you doing for them? And I like to think, <laughs> from the male perspective, I offer the things that make her better. It's not so much about what you could do extra. It's about what you can help them refine. Hey, they got this plan. They got this. They got this. They got that. If she's open, if she owns a studio... Like, for, like, I always pose this question. If she owns a studio, hair salon, so and so and so forth, hey, yo, I do graphic design and web design. Baby, your website's trash. Come here, let me love on you. And then afterwards, we can fix this shit up. Like, that's something you should be able to reciprocate as a man and not feel less than. It's not me providing from the sense of the household. It's not me showing my dominancy and using my brute masculinity. But it is all of those things, just in a modern twist. Men haven't evolved past their primitive uh, mindset. And that's why a lot of men are struggling right now in this generation of dating. Um, like, I just, I just kind of look at the male population right now and say to myself, like, damn, it's tough out here for y'all. Like, I'm wearing this goofy ass hat, but like. If I wanted to, I could be on a date tonight. If I wanted to, I could be in a date tomorrow. If I wanted to, I could have a woman in my bed tomorrow. And it's not like, this is not a flex. This is just something that you, I've acquired through time and perseverance of helping myself be better. Like, you don't have to find women who want you if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing as a man <laughs> that's always been a role a rule real men don't really look for women real men don't have problems finding women real men have problems finding or rather weeding out the good one good ones that's that's the hard part <laughs> fight like but to get a date that's not hard to get a good date that's that's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of change so i get back on point right Three reasons why I fit because I didn't ask the follow up question, but I like to think what are three things that make women say 
they need black men? And I, I don't know this answer, but I can only assume since they said yes. And I think the first and the most important one is um, without black men, black people cease to exist. And the equal and opposite is true or the equal, the equal is true as well. Without black women, black people stop existing. It's, that's pretty much plain and simple. And you could think of it from a like from a strictly procreation lifestyle. I want to have a chocolate baby. I could love a girl named uh, Karen. I could probably I, that could be a life for me. But Karen and me and myself will have to have a sit down conversation and acknowledge that my baby's not going to be me. It's not going to be Nigerian 100%. It's not going to be African-American. It's going to be something else. And that's not aesthetically what I want now, but shit can change. But for me, I want a black baby. No, for no other reason than knowing that I have survived as a black person. So I'm most equipped to take care of that child. I'm equipped to take care of Timmy and John, but Timmy and John might have a way much, a way different life experience living with me versus living with their, their parents. Right. Another reason why black women love black men or need black men is because without a shadow of a doubt, while we are their biggest oppressor, the equal and opposite is the same. In this situation, we are also their biggest supporters. Um, rarely do you see a black woman rise to success without the faint, without a faint or prominent uh, posture of a black man, whether it's her father, her husband, relatives, friends, black women have made sure to acknowledge, I like to think, a lot of them, um, where they come from. Katanji, uh, Katanji Brown Jackson, while married to a white man, prominently has her parents on display. An elderly couple, male and a woman. It's very clear to see that black women don't make it far in this world without us. We are their biggest cheerleaders. I think there's a vocal minority that is very loud. And if you choose to have the <laughs> you can't come around here being mad that you're hearing stories about black uh, simps saying shit like, oh, black women are ruining the black family and shit like this and shit like that. If you if you're following the shade room, you're going to get hella shit like that. So expect what you get. <laughs> And then the last part, and, and just to finish on that, it's the sword and shield method. A good man uses his woman as a shield. And a better man uses his sword. <laughs> That's it. That's the fucking quote. <laughs> if a black woman's supposed to be a shield, you as a black man should just use your sword. You don't have to worry about being on defense if you're on offense. You hear me? Uh, as Coach Z used to say, the best defense is an offense. Um, and then the last reason why I think black women said that they need black men. I think and I hope they understand. I, they have to, I hope. The survival of black people is dependent on how much black men actually need black women. Black women know they need their black men because when the chips are down, they're going to have to love the people that love them, period. It's, they love us. And when it's that's the last reason. There, there's no explanation for it. They love us. I don't think they need to have one either. But they're entitled to whatever their fucking opinion is. I just think that there's too much energy wasted on why we can't get along 
and not enough energy thrown into actually just getting the fuck along. Getting along is an adult ass thing to do. When you're talking with somebody, trying to get to know them and all this shit, and you're you're expending copious amounts of energy trying to make things work. That's 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 energy spent. But sitting here debating on if you should make it work, that just sounds weird to me. Uh, it's a fight worth having. It's an argument worth having. But if you spent that same amount of energy doing right by the community, there'd be less talks about how to keep the community from splintering off. But a lot of people aren't ready for that conversation. A lot of people aren't ready for the conversation of being with someone for survival versus being with someone for your feelings. A lot of people in the African-American culture aren't ready to have a conversation about uh, is black love being a cultural thing and not a personal thing. <laughs> you you, you got to be willing to put the culture above your feelings. And because we don't have that here in America, it's very easy to see how uh, they seem to squabble and debate amongst themselves. I actually had segments on one show, but I ended up tearing through that. So I'll leave you to your devices. Um, there was a New York Post story about this. Um, I'll put it in there. But ultimately, that's really just the perspective I wanted to spit on this. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I'll probably put a poll in this video. Do black women need black men? Yes or no? Put it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. My name is Hero. This is the Identity Booth. 